Hi, welcome to the Creative Treehouse. My name is Robin Broom and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Thanks for joining me in the treehouse today. Today's project is one that I recently finished for my daughter. It is a congratulations card. She just earned her master's degree. I'm very proud of her. She did it all online. Uh, partly because of COVID, um, so she's never even seen the institution, but this was just a fun, this was the the colors, the school colors, um, and I just love, and she loves, um, shaker cards. So I was going to show you how to make this. I'm going to make it a little bit different because I would like to uh, make a different one. Okay, and let me show you the, for her card, I even, show, let me show you the inside as well. Um, Pretty much we used the round of applause uh, set and I, it may have just retired. I'm not positive if you have it and that's, that's a good one. Um, great sentiments and I just loved the round of applause and I thought it just fit perfectly right here to be um, the circle, the cutout for the shaker card. Um, these I just, I hand, I drew them and just fussy cutted them out and of course this is stamping up ribbon here and here and <laughs> there that was a, a stamping up gem that I actually colored because I didn't I didn't have a black one so but and the the stuff inside oh I've had it for a long time it was just some confetti that happened to be perfect because it's the mortar boards and it's just fun to think about um, the congratulations of throwing those up into the air so um, and this here was die cut from let me see if I brought it over here I did it's the taste from the tasteful labels and I thought it was just neat that it almost looks like um, a seal or perhaps the top of a a ribbon or something I thought it fit and the the mortarboard actually comes from that same set pretty much all this this was a die uh, a Stampin' Up! die from huh, a long time ago so I have next month I will have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for five years I'm so excited about it and that is very related to the card that we're going to do today because my downline is um, just uh, advanced to silver and she has been, it's also her anniversary month, and she has been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for four years. So we're gonna make one um, for that, to celebrate that. So I've got um, silver foil paper that's gonna be the background to it, um, and it's cut at four and a half, four and a quarter, I'm sorry, by five and a half, and her favorite color is blue. So I chose a blue and what I did was I found an old folder that I completely forgot that I had um, and remember I've been doing it for five years this is an old Stampin' Up! one perhaps you've done it for a while and you have it too so um, no idea I don't don't remember it's been a long time um, what the name of this one was so um, that will be the top and I did I decided I looked to see if the silver would be a good background but I really liked the white better and so I just uh, did a kind of a random almost square piece of the basic white and then what I'm gonna do and I'm basically gonna we're just gonna kind of put it together so I've already stamped this onto the window sheet now now that is you have to do it with the stays on ink otherwise when you go to touch it um, it will just wipe off so you need stays on ink to put it on here I also use stays on ink when I did the balloon um, I tried it different ways but I liked that one on the silver the best and this is from a very old set sorry about that guys but the happy birthday gorgeous set and I used the balloon um, from there and I think that may be all from that set so so this is a piece that we're going to use I also to cut out and I've already cut out as you can see I cut this out the the circle for the beginning of our shaker and this is just one of the the circle dies I didn't check to see which one it is it's one of the fairly large ones I just kind of decided which worked for this particular stamp and then also it was really festive I didn't do it on the other card but I thought it would be good on this card I actually used both of these of course they don't really work at 
the same time you have to run it through the machine twice but I did a silver that's gonna go right here okay and then and this I don't, I don't think I mentioned the blue is cut um, a quarter of an inch smaller so it should be five and a quarter by four or the dimensions for that so and I've also you see a pencil line lightly here what I did was once I decided, because I went ahead and adhered that because I needed to know exactly, because it's easier to make, to fill your well on the bottom. And because if you filled it here and flipped it over, <laughs> first of all, your stuff is going to go everywhere. And, um, and if you have left it this way and tried to put that on there, you might not know where the the back of it was I mean you wouldn't be able to line it up so did that make any sense maybe maybe not so what we're gonna do or I'm gonna try it that way I did it different when I made my daughter's card so but I made a pencil line so that we'll know exactly where we're gonna put our our tape and we're gonna do that oh there's one more I did do a congratulations I'm gonna put the balloon here and the congratulations here that came from that same set um, and um, the the dye came from the same, uh, what did I say it was? The Tasteful Labels dye for that one. So in the congratulations, it just exactly fit. I, I really liked that. Um, and then, <laughs> I guess I should tell you, well, I'll, I'll work on the, the foam first. So we've got the, um, the foam adhesive strips and these, when I made my daughter's card, I realized it was just like exactly what you needed. So just perfectly. So I'm going to pull one of these off and we're going to go around. Now this, they, there's an inside one, but we want to be pretty much pretty close to, we don't want to go any further, pretty close to the circle. And the nice thing about these, the foam adhesive strips is that, that it's very bendable. So it's just perfect for making the shaker cards. Oh, I hope I didn't get my head in there. Apologies if I did. And if it works out, exactly if you end up with a gap then you're going to have to go in and you, I may we'll see what happens nope I think it's going to work um, you would need to go through and add some more because you don't want any of your confetti falling out so there you've got that that's great so now that's all on there and I heard somebody say that they like to take their finger and kind of just run it across here make sure there's nothing sticky because you don't want it to adhere and get stuck there all right I'm gonna leave that just for a minute I'm gonna move this we need to get our round of applause on there and what I'm gonna do um, you can use different adhesives but I think I'm gonna use tear and tape um, the only problem with that is it, it doesn't give you any wiggle room like you could have with uh, say the liquid glue but I'm just gonna put some here And this part doesn't matter as far as it, you're just I'm just trying to adhere it to the blue part of the card the actual top of it so and then we'll I, I did not I don't believe I used it this on the last card so <laughs> we'll see if this works or not all right so I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull off the backing on all of these strips maybe okay and then we'll see if we'll be able to successfully put our blue down on top and make it even so we've got the round of applause okay and then we're gonna put this on I'm gonna see if I can wiggle it around that looks good that's perfect terrific okay now it's gonna end up like that so I am really liking that. Okay, so while we're at it, let's go ahead and adhere, and this time I will use liquid glue, adhere our, um, the little silver frame around it. Let's see, there we go. It also helped, I think, because the, <laughs> the actual embossing folder was, it is a, oval and so this kind of disguises that so you don't really notice but you've got the, the fun confetti 
All right, so there you have that. All right, another thing, I don't have it with me, so we'll see how it goes, but another thing is a lot of times they, there's an embossing buddy, and a lot of times they like to, to wipe it across there to be sure that it doesn't adhere, the, um, all the, the confetti doesn't adhere to that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we're gonna fill this. I'm gonna fill it, I think, first, and then I will Oh, did, did I tell you about the balloon punch? Yeah, here's the here's the balloon punch. It's a, it's a retired one as well, and I used that to punch out that balloon. Okay, so I'm going to take the silver, and I'm going to just dump it into the well, to the, all the confetti. It's different colors, actually. It's blue, silver, gold. And I did, a, <laughs> I did something that I, I hope it's going to turn out. I'm going to put a few of them on the top. I got the, uh, a stamp with a number four, from one of the alphabet stamp sets and I used the stays on ink and I put four in there so she loves blue and this is her fourth year anniversary with Stampin' Up so I wanted to make sure that there was a four in there so there we go so I'm make sure some of these fours are are popping up and the rest are just blue silver and gold all right that looks good I'm going to kind of slide them all back into the middle while I take off now I can decide whether I have too many or too few. I don't know if you can have too, too much confetti. However, if you had too much, I think you would cover up the words that go on our little cutout there. So let's see, let me squish them together and see what I think. Do you think that's enough or will it be a problem? Is it too much? Let's take a few out just to be sure. Because you, you don't want to be able to read what it says on the outside. Okay, I think I might like that a little bit better. Maybe it's not quite as many. Maybe one, pull one more off. All right, yeah, and I even um, did both sides of the, the circles. Oh, and I punched them too. I used an old uh, circle punch, um, the half inch one for the smaller, and I think it was the three quarter for the bigger ones because that particular thing of confetti came with um, squares and things and I thought it looked better to do it this way so all circles all right so we've got that now we're going to pull this off the backing around there okay and then now we are ready to put the top of this on Let's see if we can get it fairly even you just get one shot at this and if it messes up then people know it was just a handmade card and I realized something that I did not do, so don't make this mistake. I did it correctly on my daughter's card. I need some, a little bit more of the foam because I am going to make the sides. So you're going to see a a, a boo-boo in action. I'm going to put that. Let me just go ahead and do them all. Okay. Because you want them to all be there. I think you could probably use some dimensionals, although I'm not positive if the height is the same. Okay, I'm not pulling the backs off of them just yet. Okay, and I'm actually kind of treating it like tear and tape. I'm just pulling it off. Okay, we're going to put that there. See if I can get a longer one. I think the whole thing will be a little bit too long. Let me tear it off. Okay, let's see if we can get this one on this side. So we like to say there's no mistakes. That's also why um, <laughs> paper has two sided so that often if you have a, you really don't have an error. I'm gonna pull this just a little bit because a tiny bit too, too far. And I have some scissors, but I didn't want to use my good scissors on that. Okay, all right, now I'm go th I'll go through and pull it all off, all the backings off. Okay, I hope you enjoy seeing uh, people's semi mistakes there. We're real people, but love doing this. Okay. And then this one. And then we've got that part done. All right. Okay, let's see how the, the shaker part does. Oh, I like it. It looks really good. I think it's the perfect amount, too. Great. All right. So there's that. I'll end up putting it on a white card base, but I did want to do um, a couple of things. I did want to make a balloon here, and I did want to put the congratulations right there. Let me go ahead and do the congratulations, and I think for that I will actually give it a little bit of dimension, and I'll put it up with some dimensionals. I'll just use the minis because that's it's a pretty small sentiment. I might be able to have used the 
the bigger ones. So let me pull the backs off and we'll put the congratulations on. Okay, oop, like that. Okay, and now we'll do the same for the hooray. Um, and I'm also going to try to put a string on it. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to flip it over. And this is a, I'm not really sure what, which silver paper this was. This is not a Stampin' Up! paper on this particular one. Um, it's not as, as shiny and metallic looking. Okay, and I have my string. My string actually came from, let me see if I can find what I did with it. Yep. My string came from a um, an old paper pumpkin. So, which is if you don't know what that is, and I I did this so that the the string would go ahead and attach to that, and then I'm gonna put the balloon there, and then I think what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of glue on the end of it, and see if I can make it have still have a I don't want it to be actually straight. Probably something about like that, I think. And so what I'll do, or maybe even... No, it, it wants to go that way, so we may just let it go that way. All right, and so I think what I'll do is I will try to put just a tiny dot of glue on here. Let's see if I can stretch it out. Toothpicks would come in handy. And then I'll put... I will adhere that... Uh, and the take your pick tool would also be handy right there. We'll let that dry. So now it looks more like a, a live balloon. Okay, I am liking that. So that's basically what I was planning on doing with the front of the card and I will adhere it. I'll make some neat things on the inside hopefully and a personalized note on that as well. So that is in a nutshell really quickly how you could make a shaker card. And I'll bring in the other one just to show you. It's the exact same thing, just used just a little bit differently. So you've got uh, congratulations as far as graduation. And then here we have a congratulations for, it could be a lot of things, round of applause. This time it's not, it won't be graduation, but um, you may have a family member that just needs to be congratulated or a friend. So um, it could even be an anniversary and you could use the same uh four years, 50 years, whatever it is, and just um, lots of ideas, so much creativity. So I hope you enjoyed that and you might have learned something, might have learned what not to do um, here in the Creative Treehouse. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I would also love to have you on my team. You might get a card like this or uh, you'll have to just let me know what your favorite color is. So our team is called the Fine Feathers. So uh, let me know. There's a super cool uh, promotion that ends on Monday, May 31st. And this particular year is 2021. So if you happen to be watching in the next two days and you would love to sign up as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your team leader. So thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time on the Creative Treehouse. Thanks. Bye-bye.